Hello everyone, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys some amazing things that I recently discovered and fell in love with and so we're going to be doing a little bit of like an April slash spring favorites video. I mentioned this product in my daily makeup routine and I have really fallen in love with it. It's the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. I'm not a fan of foundation. I don't know if it's because my skin is a little textured right now or what but I I just I feel like foundation makes me look worse um, maybe it's because I haven't found the perfect one but I've tried a lot and I just feel like it always feels heavy and I feel like it always emphasizes the texture in my skin and so I just I'm not a fan of wearing it I only wear it if I have to take photos or something like that so I wanted something lighter and I haven't tried like a BB or CC cream in a while and so I heard about this and it's a little bit on the pricier side I believe it's 90 something either 89 or 90 something Thing. I'm gonna double check. It's probably the most expensive beauty product that I own, but I really really fell in love with it. When you apply it, it feels like rose water. It smells like rose, first of all. I don't know what they put in it, um, but it smells amazing. It smells really fresh and like roses. You apply it to your skin, it feels like a moisturizing water. Like you don't feel it on your skin at all. And it kind of just blends in with the tone of your skin and just kind of brightens it and evens it out. Once again, it doesn't give amazing coverage, but it does emphasize kind of your own natural beauty in a way and just brightens your skin and evens it out a little bit so I think it's amazing for hot weather for the summer or just for daily use especially if you're not a fan of foundation so I strongly strongly recommend this um, so I really like smelling good obviously like a lot of people but for some reason I just haven't been able to wear perfume in a long time I used to be obsessed with all of the Versace perfumes and for some reason I think I developed an allergic reaction or something but I just couldn't wear perfume like like it would just sit in my nose, it would make my throat feel scratchy. But then for my birthday, I got the Chanel Chance Utendre. I can't say anything in French, so I'm just gonna write it down below. I fell in love with it. It's very light and elegant. It really stays on you and it's strong enough. It doesn't air out as quickly as like a spray does. Just, it doesn't bother me at all and doesn't give me that allergic reaction and so it's like the perfect balance. So I'm really excited that I found it because I finally have a perfume that I can use. So the next product is an eyebrow tint and I loved my long thin eyebrows for a very long time and then my sister said that I should try dyeing my eyebrows and make them a little thicker and I was like okay why not let's try it and so she did it and I had the biggest tantrum which always happens after like haircuts or something like I just need a couple hours to really get used to something and before I'm used to it I just I flip out because I just feel like it doesn't look like me or I don't know but I'm working on it so she dyed them and obviously you know ink stains your skin a little bit and makes it look very exaggerated you need to give the tint a couple of days to kind of fade out but I flipped out they were so thick and I was like they look like sausages on my face like I just I oh it was bad and then the next day I woke up and I'm like oh cool like I don't have to fill my eyebrows in and they kind of define my face a little more and then I basically fell in love with it so thank you to my sister to introducing me to dyeing my eyebrows she recommended this eyebrow tint which I've been really 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 loving I got it on Amazon and it's about $20 or so but it lasts a really long time and it comes with a brush and a little stick to mix the dye up and like a little glass jar thing Thing that you can like mix the dye in. The color that I use is a natural brown. I think it matches my hair color really well and it's just so easy to use. You might kind of have to practice it a couple of times but it's pretty simple. It's pretty much just as simple as filling in your eyebrows. So I really love the color and just everything that it comes with. So I've been loving dyeing my eyebrows and I don't have to fill them in as much and it just makes doing makeup so much easier. So, and especially if you're a big fan of just being natural and not having to put a lot of makeup on. Dyeing your eyebrows really helps with that because it does add that extra something and kind of defines your face a little more and makes you look a little more vibrant and awake. At the same time, you don't really need to apply a lot of makeup for that because the eyebrows kind of do the job themselves. So if you're looking for a good eyebrow tint, then I strongly suggest this one. Loving exploring moisturizers and body washes, shampoos at TJ Maxx. I found this Grace Cole body lotion. It's the Boutique 
collection and made in England. It's the Wild Fig and Pink Cedar. It's a softening hand and nail cream and it comes with this little fringe which I think is really cute and pretty bottle and it's pretty pink color and it's not like a heavy lotion but it just it feels really nice and refreshing and the smell is really light and really elegant, uh, very classy. I, I always talk about having like go-to feel-good products, little things, they don't have to be expensive that you can just use and they lift your mood or you look at them and they lift your mood and make you feel good, make you feel happy and this is one of those things. It just So the next thing that I want to show you is this Victoria's Secret robe and it's very silky and this is the third robe of the same type that I have from them. I had one in ivory, one in navy blue, and now I have this amazing lilac. And my sister actually gave it to me and I honestly probably love looking at it more than wearing it because I don't know if you feel the same way but sometimes you just have this thing that you love so much that you don't even want to wear because you don't want to ruin it. You just like the idea of having it and so that's just how I feel about this because like my pastel fantasy dream color <laughs> feels very nice, it's very cute and yeah it's just such a feel good color so if you're a fan of pastels like me then hopefully you can appreciate this as well so this is just a Victoria's Secret robe and I just wanted to mention it because I think that it's so beautiful and so elegant so it's definitely on the top list of my favorite things the next item that I want to share with you and this is something that I've shared in my recent spring lookbook video and it's this blue pastel bag from Forever 21 and when I ordered it online I did not have high expectations because it is Forever 21 and so I just assumed that it's gonna be not the best quality and especially for bags like sometimes it's really noticeable but I don't have anything this color it's just a pretty light dusty blue and I think it's so beautiful for spring and to satisfy my pastel obsession it was around $20 I think and I fell in love with it it looks pretty good it goes with a lot of things it's perfect for spring and I think it's gonna be pretty good for summer as well and I mean knowing me it's probably gonna be good for the next three years for every season <laughs> because that's how I roll so pretty it's very elegant it's a good size especially for a pretty affordable forever 21 bag I think that it does a really good job I love trying out beauty products and when I heard about the next product I was so excited about it it's the little new face machine I have the new face mini it's basically this little machine that I'm gonna show you and it basically electrocutes your face <laughs> It's this little cute guy. I have the mini. There's also the Trinity, which is more expensive. It's bigger. Some people say it has like a higher voltage, I guess. Um, it has more strength, but uh, but some people say that they both have the same strength. So I don't know, but this one was cheaper. And so I wanted to start off with like the cheaper option. Uh, and it's also easy for travel. But yeah, basically it's this little thing and you have to charge it for a while. It also comes with this gel that you put on your face so you don't feel the electricity. And basically you turn it on and you roll it on your cheekbones and on the jawline and forehead and it's supposed to give you like an instant five minute facelift and it's supposed to tighten the skin plump it up make it look more vibrant radiant and also tighten it up and define your facial features and your bone structure and it's supposed to make the jawline tighter and the cheekbones more prominent I love it I've been using it every day I personally really really enjoy it now whether it gives an amazing result that's gonna depend on your your face on your facial structure on the skin condition and whatever it is that you wanted to do because honestly for me I haven't noticed a drastic difference but as soon as I use it yes I do look more awake and more radiant and my skin looks tighter and just fresher so I mean it definitely shapes the face a little bit for other people I heard that it gives a really big difference my sister used it and it was pretty drastic for her and she's actually an esthetician and it works really well for her clients and so again yeah it really depends on whatever it is that you want to get from it and your own situation but I believe that it will give a noticeable result for pretty much anyone so I really suggest it it was around 200 I believe it's 199 and I got it at Bloomingdale's and I think the Trinity the bigger one it comes with more attachments and it's three something but it really does give a good result it's supposed to give even a better result over time so I'm really enjoying it and I, I do recommend that you try it out. I think that you most likely will not be disappointed with this.
But thank you so much for watching this video. These are just a couple of items that I recently discovered and that I've really been enjoying and so I wanted to share them with you. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, then leave a comment below and let me know. And also let me know if you've tried any of these or what your favorite spring slash April products have been. I'd love to see what you have to say. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I post a video every single week. I hope that you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.